Martin. Hey, congratulations for the East. Thank you so much, man. Thanks. Hey, so what initially attracted you to do a, a war movie like The East? Uh, what, the, the script, the director, uh, anything. Uh, I mean, this is this is a very special project that I'm sure anyone would be happy to jump on. Um, I mean, it's a special film, but but uh, mostly maybe you know the subject. Subject is something that um, here in Holland it, it it feels like a sort of unprocessed piece of history um, that that has to be told that a lot of people from my generation still don't really know anything about. Like myself, for example, I I I was just completely unaware of. Um, a lot, you know, actually, the the whole colonial war, um, because I didn't I didn't learn that in school. I just, did you, I just didn't know. Did you go into extra research before you take on the role? I mean, I I I never even heard of <laughs> of this, uh, you know, Dutch in in um, colonization either. Yeah, so um, I, 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 I mean, I, I didn't go through it before I took on the role because I just wanted to play that, that role. And then, you know, when I started reading the script and everything, uh, I was just like uh, finding out all this stuff. I'll tell you what, when, when, the, when I first spoke to the director, to Jim, he kind of, you know, briefly told me what the film was about. He's like, yeah, it's about a Dutch soldier who's like um, doing all these war crimes in Indonesia together with like with a half Greek, half Turkish um, officer. Um, and, and that's what the film was about. And I was like, how did, how did he come up with that? You know, it's, that just sounded like weird, um, uh, you know, weird, weird fantasy uh but it, it wasn't <laughs> um so but you know that's that it said something about about how completely unaware um i was and my generation uh is about about the whole situation did did you know that raymond westerling was based on a, a real life character i know i know you play a fictional character but um, yeah, but I read I read somewhere that Ray, Raymond, uh, you know, the person who was committing the war crime, yeah. what was a real life character? Yeah, 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 yeah no, uh, de definitely, because he's in every book and he's in every documentary. He's such a character. Um, there was there was even a version of the script like way 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 back. I'm talking ten years back um, when they were already working on it. Um, where the film was about Westerling and it was called Westerling because this, this guy is such a character when you, when you see old interviews about him that you can look up on YouTube and everything he's, he's such an impressive character really um, and he, he, he really did you know all this um, opera he, he really went to become an opera singer after the war and everything and it's like it's too crazy to come up with, but it really happened. Now, how did you get into the mindset of your character? Because your character started off sort of like wide-eyed, volunteer, you know, going into it. And then he, he progressively and slowly changed, you know, just like any character in a war movie, I guess, right? Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a, a big arc, uh, you could say. Um, um, what your question is like, how, 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 did, how did you get into the character? Yeah. I mean, that, that's, it has been a long process. It, it has been years of preparation and there are so many, um, so many levels of, uh, yeah, I think what a really interesting element was, was the fact that he's walking around with, with this, um, um, secret about his family and, um, and I think that one of the things that really spoke to me that what that he's really genuinely there because he wants to help. Uh, he's a very empathetic guy. 
um, and he's sick and tired of just, you know, like walking around and uh, doing nothing, basically. Um, and then, he, yeah, he, I mean, he can help himself, but just get deeper into the, um, into the jungle, <laughs> you know, as an, uh, as a way to say the situation, but, um, yeah, he's getting, he's, he's finding himself, uh, stuck with, with a lot of questions because, as viewers, like in this time of age right now, we know that he hasn't been given all the information um, about the about the context. So that that's um, that's that's a really dramatic uh, um, element, I think. Does that, yeah, that's, that that's a really st stupid answer to your question, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, you're good. I'm trying, trying to fight myself out of it. <laughs> <laughs> How about, how, about, how about this? This is your second well, time. Let me let me let me tell you. I don't. I'm not sure if there is a way to really like prepare for for such a role, um, other than knowing what the what the story is about, knowing what the context is of uh, of the film. It's just really hard to, you know, how are you going to prepare for uh, a boy who grew up in the Second World War and decides to to sign himself up to go to another war. Um, it's just really hard. It's just really uh, hard to, um, to prepare, but I guess the level of um, having fun with all the other, with, with all the other boys. And um, I think there was a, a big feeling of being on a, a field a school trip, a field trip, uh, you know, that was really there. Um, and then eventually, you know, doing all these hard scenes when they when they're in the DST, it's that's just that's just horrible. It was just uh, really really hard to play as well. Well, let let let, let me uh, let me try this. Uh, this is your second time doing a war movie because you as as um, when you were very young, you did a, a movie called Winter in Wartime. Um, why why do you why do you do these war movies, is it hard doing war movies like this where it basically it portrays atrocities? Um, well, I mean, it is, it is the most, um, the most thankful thing to do as an actor to be able to contribute to a film that, that helps people process a certain piece of history. You know where you also have films that are just there for amusement. Um, I think that that's 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 a beautiful thing. So yeah, um, that's why I was saying anyone would be happy to jump on this on this role. But I was lucky to uh, to be able to do it. Let's let's turn to something fun. How was Indonesia for you? You, you spent uh, I want to say Man, the food amazing. Is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> is it really what 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 did you try definitely i tried everything everything that was too spicy for me <laughs> but uh yeah I, I mean there was a there was this great warum which is like a family kitchen restaurant um uh, on the other side of the street from my hotel where i went almost every night and ate gado gado <laughs> Was a you, you know in the movie they make it sound like it's so torturous it's so hot was it was it hot over there where you were uh, filming? Yeah, I mean it was super uh, super tropical uh, climate, so uh, it's like thirty five to forty degrees Celsius. Yeah, it was really hot. So how how, how did you manage to to uh, wear your costumes and uniform in a in you know in an environment or weather like that? That's a good question. I I don't know how I managed. <laughs> but we did. Um, yeah, it was it was quite tough. But we got training. We uh, we went to the gym a few months prior to sh to the shoot. Um, really to prepare ourselves to you know like wear these large costumes with a lot of <coughs> packaging and all this armory and everything. Yeah. How was the production sets? 
um, there in Indonesia. What, was it amazing, um, you know, trying to reenact some of these uh, combat scenes? Yeah, they, um, I know that they had um, been scouting locations for, for four years. Um, so for us, you know, we, we were on a pretty tight schedule shooting for, uh, for I think, 11 weeks or something. So what I was asking you about was the production sets, uh, you know, the combat scenes. Were, were they amazing to you? Yeah, I mean, every every location where we were, every day, it was like, wow, it's such such a beautiful country. I mean, it has so many beautiful places, and um, I think you can really see that in the film as well. Something I'm. I'm really proud of when I see the film, it really like, it, it, it feels like it breathes Indonesia. It looks like Indonesia. Um, you can almost smell it from the screen, you know. Was there any difficult scenes um, for yourself uh, during this uh, filming? Um, you know, because, uh, because you had to, you know, go through a river, you had nighttime shoots, you know, you, you had to battle, you know, weather and mosquitoes. I mean, what, what was most difficult for you? Um, I mean, yeah, definitely those, those really physical scenes were, were hard. I mean, those are a, a challenge, you know, ro rolling to the jungle, uh, uh, at, at, at 3 a.m. in the morning and you're like all wet and, um, you're not sure whether you're hot or cold, um, or hungry or not. And I mean that those are like physical challenges, but those are, those are kind of fine, you know? But then there were, there were also the scenes uh, that we had to shoot people, um, and and those were those were actually a lot harder. Um, also, because many times um, we had like extras on set who were then playing villagers, and they hadn't been given the script or anything. They didn't really know the complete context of the film, but they were playing so well it was all so believable that 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 just told me that they really knew what we were what we were making a film about and and also then why why it's so important to make the film um so that that really made a huge impression on me most excellent well Martin, hey, congratulations once again for uh, the East. Thank you for uh, speaking to us. And this is a very historical and a very realistic film that, uh, that I quite enjoyed. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, thank you. Bye now. All right, bye.